Emergencies always cause shortages because you have this immediate spike in demand and the supply chain, the distribution, the roads, the warehousing, the trucks, and the information that drives it all gets broken. In a way, every emergency is a logistics and distribution problem. You have to reallocate resources rapidly and you're doing it with very poor information because it's unfolding. Direct Relief's been around 72 years. I don't think anyone's seen where you have a simultaneous emergency everywhere. So the demand spike for medical material, PPE and ventilators and masks and gloves and gowns and goggles expands overnight. Uh, Direct Relief, we've said the best thing we can do is put these philanthropic resources towards those frontline health workers that rely heavily on the support of groups like ours, while also backstopping the hospitals because they're in a crisis of kind of historic proportions. We do work in 100 countries a year. We work in all 50 states on an ongoing basis. You want to save everyone you can and prevent as many people from falling sick and needing severe help. So that's how Direct Relief has approached it. This is one that is an equal opportunity threat to everybody. So we're trying to do our best in a fair, equitable, thoughtful way, doing whatever we can to get help to people where they need it, when they need it, as fast and efficiently as it can be done.